All you need now. Just go deliver it and you're done. Ah, the casualry wretches. I'll show you that there are limits that cannot be overcome by exerting oneself.
Burroughs. Oh, it's you. Damn it to hell. I was caught off guard and, well, you can see what it got me. <laughs> and for this to happen while looking for that Navar fop, no less. That makes it all the more galling. That hooded bastard. He'll rue the day I find him. Burroughs. Thank you. 
You're no different than that other man. Both of you are too ignorant to know when to back down. Tis that ignorance that marks you as casualties born and bred. Very well. I'll reinforce this lesson in regret with that most excellent teacher, Pain. <laughs> I'll make you grovel like the lowly worms you are. Hold it right there. What? Who's there? I do believe we arrived just in time. Are you all right? We're here to assist you. If you are going to use the strength of numbers to overwhelm us, then we shall counter with our own numbers. But you are both luxurious! Why? Ugh. Crush them, my minions! best of my horde! Where did they find this year's prentices? Prentices we may be, but we are samurai nonetheless. Your folly was taking us so lightly. Apprentice or master, casualty or luxurer, it matters not to a truly committed samurai. Surely you should understand, as you too are among our number. <clears throat> they know. This is it. This is beyond the pale! I was supposed to show the casualties preening around the place their proper station. Jonathan. Isabeau. If only you hadn't come to his aid. Why do you intervene on a casualty's behalf when you are luxurers? Because we abide by the code of the samurai. Our way is to cast aside the tragedies that befall the people. And he is our fellow. That is all the reason we require. I gather you intended to prey on the weak, but you have badly miscalculated. Huh? Jonathan? Isabeau? The Hooded Man's here too. What's going on? Walter, allow me to explain. This is a dubious business, make no mistake. My only role in this was to lure you here. You cannot hold a grudge against me for that! G go complain to Navarre, further in! I'll make time another day to deal with you. The favor must be returned, after all. But for now, we must find Navarre and make him pay for what he's done. I will accompany you. As will I. Someone must treat Navarre's wounds, after all. Since I fear that Walter will not restrain himself once we find him. Fine. I have info for you. Burroughs.
What should we do, Master? 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 Hold. Someone's coming this way. Oh no! You're those casualties! Hold oh, there! I wouldn't recommend going any further. There's a, a funny wall. Navarre hasn't been seen since going through that wall. I've lost contact with him myself. I'm going back to the hall. This is passing strange. I would suggest you go no further either. But uh, this isn't a retreat, you understand. I'm simply too bewildered to continue. Everyone, wait a moment. Hmm? <gasps> What's the matter, Isabeau? The entrance. It's gone. Careful, Master. I think we've entered some demon's domain. Oh, a domain. I've read about them in books. They are a snare which demons craft to capture their prey. But they say there hasn't been a demon powerful enough to establish a domain for many centuries. What is going on in Naraku? It seems we cannot easily go back. That goddamn Navarre. This Erzot's rescue has become a real one. Someone there? I saw it too. Or so I thought. Yes, let's all express our surprise to see demons inside a domain. Rather than faint over the obvious, shouldn't we move on? I wasn't wrong. There is someone here. 
Now, why would a young girl be here in Naraku? The faked rescue turned out to be real. And now a little girl is here? You've put your foot in it now, Navar. Oh, it would be ghastly if an innocent girl had wandered in here. We must rescue not only Navar, but her as well. Ah, you've come. Who's there? My name is Stephen. I see that you're using demons quite efficiently. No wonder the girl picked up an interest in you. That girl? You have probably encountered her here somewhere. It will probably not be the last time you see her. Especially if you truly are the ones they entrusted the future to. Sir, what's this about? You'll understand eventually. Hmm. This domain will fade away if you defeat the demon who created it. That demon is somewhere inside here. If you are injured, come to the room further in. I will heal your wounds there. Ah, you've come. What is that? Uh, who is there? Hello? That voice. Walter, is that you? Oh, I'm saved. It's me, Navar. Oh, your fellow samurai. Hurry and get me down from here. What a selfish human. First you deceived these people, tried to have them hurt, and now you're begging them to save you? Mmm. Blood from humans like these is so scrumptious. It has this thick texture that lingers on the tongue. I'd say it was smart of me to set up a domain. This is stop! Oh, please! I beg you! Anyway, that's why I can't give them over to you. Their blood is all mine. Oh. oh, if I drink this much blood, I'll get choppy. Oh well. <laughs> I can always start dieting tomorrow. Prepared.
Where are we? The domains faded away. This is what passes for normal in Naraku. You gave a fine account of yourself. For a casualty, I suppose. Let me make one point clear. This is in no wise my fault. The Masters told me to do it. I, I hadn't a choice. Wh what is this treachery? It was you who came to us with a scheme to frighten the impertinent prentices and... Hold your tongue! I am the victim here! And I have been one since the day the Gauntlet chose me to be a samurai! If only... If only I hadn't been chosen. <laughs> Mine would have been a carefree life. <laughs> uh, Navar? Ah, yes. Those were the days. I was father and mother's delight. <laughs> Navar, what's the matter? Get a hold of yourself. <sighs> I had a tongue lashing all prepared, but he's taking the fun out of it. Congratulations on completing the quest. That led us in some unexpected directions, but at least the matter is settled now. Come now, Navar. It's time we left Nauraku behind. And Walter, I hope you won't think that all we luxures are like him. Now I can see that Navar is... special. I think I'll be returning home. The quest's complete after all. Then I shall see you tomorrow. I expect you're tired too. You should get a good night's sleep tonight. Hmm. Hmm. Burrows.
Are you ready for bed? Okay, Master. Good night. Pardon me for barging in again, but, uh, I hope you slept well last night. We were told that the Masters are all out today, and that we Prentices are to have a holiday. They gave us permission to go out, too. Since the weather's so nice, uh, why don't we breakfast outside? We invited Isabeau, but she demurred and said, I'd rather spend it alone. Well, there's a very good bakery in the castle town. Let's try their wares. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that your stratagem for wooing the ladies, Jonathan? What? Don't be coarse, Walter. I don't... You're... You're... You know, I... <laughs> Wait, are you saying... I see. In... In that case, let's, uh, be on our way. We'll get our breakfast first. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. Ah, what superb relics you have there! Welcome! If there's any... If there... Please be careful on your way! Welcome! How about this item here? How about this item here? Thank you very much. My... Please be careful on your way. Welcome. Hmm. Jonathan, my boy. I heard that you became a noble samurai. It must be inconvenient, going without your servants. But I hope you'll continue your patronage here. Hoi! We'll take three loaves. Can we get fresh-baked ones still kicking? I don't know of any bread that kicks, but here you go. It's a pleasure to have you as a customer. Uh, by the way, now that we're acquainted, I, I want to show you something interesting. Is that a... Uh book? Right you are. It's from a genre called literature. They're stories about people in great turmoil. The more I read of these, the more I've come to realize something. I've lived in darkness and ignorance up until now. It's adversity which develops a man's character. I myself am an avid reader, but I've never heard of this, uh, literature. How did you come by that book? An acquaintance of mine brought me to a Sabbath once. While I was there, the Black Samurai gave it to me. Sabbath? Black Samurai? After partaking in that Sabbath and reading these books, I understand more fully. You see, luxurers truly think of little but their own convenience. Everyone speaks of equality, but that is a ruse we casualties have been subjected to. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt your rousing speech, but do you think we might have that bread soon? Oh, uh, but hear me out a while longer. There's so much more to be said about the wonders of literature. What have I read lately? Ah, how about these? Osamu Dazai's no longer human. And then there's Ogai Mori's, the dancing girl. We'll take these, thank you. Oh, one moment, Walter. Excuse me, but we must be going. I'll leave the payment here. Looks like the quest is going well. Hey. 
<laughs> Is this a friend of yours? I didn't recognize you there at first, which is natural, since you're in samurai garb now. Well, this is a happy coincidence. Why don't you join us for breakfast? Uh, sorry, but I'll have to decline. I can't leave the fields alone forever. More than that, though, I got an intriguing gift to bring home. I want to hurry and show it to everyone. And where is home for you? Kichi, Georgie. That's quite a long journey. <laughs> Less than you think. If I keep walking without a rest, I should reach my destination before night falls. I'd train myself to be a samurai after all. I'm confident these legs can make the trip. Well then, I'll be going home. From one Kichi Georgie boy to another, I'll be praying that your endeavors are successful. Finally, it's time for our breakfast. One loaf per person, understood? Ah, oh, drat. We should have bought beverages as well. The Lake Mikado water isn't good enough for you? Congratulations on completing the quest. Keep thinking about what that baker is keen on telling us about. Literature, was it? I don't see how someone could be so troubled by reading books. All the books I know are legends of Mikado's founding, heroic tales of Akula, and fairy stories. I never thought there could be books such as this literature. But what troubles me is his mention of this black samurai. Who could it be, and where might they have found this literature? Who can say? It's none of our concern, certainly. We have dedicated ourselves to eliminating demons, nothing more. So tell me, how are you two going to spend the rest of your holiday? We don't get them often, so, uh, I, uh, relish the chance to nap here. I thought I might spend the day walking around the city. In that case, here is where we part ways. I'll see you two tomorrow. Welcome, Prentice. Hello there. indeed accepted it. Is there anything else? I'll register that as a new quest on the list. 
Is there anything else? Come again. this. Isabeau's up to something on the rooftop. We're going to go see. Up, damn you! Ugh, you disturbed our precious slumber over this? It's dreadfully impolite to intrude on a girl's private moments, you know. So you say, and yet here you are. Well, that's, um, it's... Yes, yes. Let's go before Isabeau decides to shut herself back up in her room, shall we? There. It's Isabeau. Let's sneak closer and surprise her. Uh, I don't think she'll be very pleased if you try that. That's the idea. I want to see that prim iron mask of her slip. To see those cold cheeks flush pink. And whose iron mask are we speaking of? <laughs> ah! Can't you be voyeurs in silence? The din is making it difficult to concentrate on my reading. You're reading? Isabeau, don't tell me you're a devotee of that literature, too. I'm sorry, but what? What I was reading is something called manga. Oh, this is fascinating. I've never seen anything like it. It's a story told through both words and pictures. The one I'm reading currently takes place in a fictional kingdom known as France. It's the story of a beautiful female warrior in male garb who valiantly and admirably plays an active role. But, but the warrioress falls in love with a man, her faithful companion at one point. Oh, and then, and then... Am I truly hearing Isabeau talk about love? I hope that Lake Mikado doesn't dry up tomorrow. Hmm? S sorry, but you needn't be so angry you're a woman. Of course love would be something you'd be... No, no, look there! That is something on fire. One of the villages is ablaze. Doesn't Kichi Georgie lie in that direction? But, but isn't Kichi Georgie your... Let us make haste. You four, halt! Apprentices like yourselves are included on the expedition to Kichi Georgie as well. So there is trouble there. No. I've received no word of Prentices being assigned to this situation. Forgive my insolence in protesting, sir, but I beg you to allow us to accompany the expedition. Kichi Georgie is the hometown of our fellow here. Those not specially summoned must remain at the ready in their rooms. That is the rule. Along with you now. The rule? Are we to overlook an emergency in a friend's home because of this rule? What's all this commotion? Sir, I have a report for you, Commander. The Samurai. My god. So Kichi Georgie was your hometown. Are you four still here? Return to your rooms before you're found in violation of... It's alright. 
I will permit these prentices to accompany us. But that would be against protocol. This is an emergency. The more hands we have, the better. Not to mention, a samurai is bound to uphold not a set of rules, but the will of the people. But forgive my insolence, sir. We will depart for Kichi Georgi at once. Bless you. No fear, sir. We samurai are here to help. Oh, God! You have not forsaken us. Sir, did I hear you right? Did you speak of demons? M monsters! I, I, I've never seen before came and, and they, they went setting fire to the village. That dreadful visage. I know what I saw. The demons from the fairy stories have appeared in our time. A few others escaped to Kichi Georgie Forest. Oh, blessed samurai, I beg of you, please save them. Save the rest of the villagers. I shudder to think that the demons have encroached this far. Someone bring this elder a hot drink and show him to our healers. My fellow samurai, our destination now is Kichi Georgie Forest. Our task here is to search for any fortunate enough to survive. Each of you will comb the forest and look for survivors. I will remain here with the healers and relay instructions to you via the gauntlet. Return here directly should you find any survivors. That also goes for if you sustain any injuries. The healers will treat your wounds. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. As for you prentices, this is a personal matter for him. Give him your full support. We will gladly cooperate with him. Burroughs, 